Etta, and first I'd like to point out if uh, there's any background noise that you hear, it's obviously because there's construction going on. As far as what's been going on in the courtroom, well, we've been here since 9 a.m. That's when closing arguments started, and it started with prosecutors facing the jury and telling them this is a straightforward case. And what that means is that the defendant, in this case, Jesse Alvarez, drove to his ex-girlfriend's fiance's home that morning of 2021 with the intent to kill him. He had methodically plotted out his execution. An execution that he ended up doing on February 1st of 2021. Now, that was Deputy District Attorney Ramona McCarthy talking to the jury. She went over the timeline that led to the incident in 2021. Prosecutors say hours after he found out about the engagement between his ex, Amy Gambara, and fiance Mario Fierro, Alvarez had already started stalking Fierro's social media accounts, screenshotting any pictures where it showed the couple together. And at the same time, he was already searching how to hire a hitman. He also Google searched how to kill your ex's fiance. He searched where Mr. Fierro lived. He even looked up the school where he worked. And posed as a student from Cath from Cathedral Catholic High School. On the day Fierro was shot several times, prosecutors say Alvarez was dressed all in black. He had already loaded his gun and waited outside of Fierro's house. Now, prosecutors say the defendant approached him and shot him six times. He then left him laying there and just drove home like nothing happened. Alvarez had testified that it was self-defense. He told the jury yesterday he just wanted to talk to his ex-girlfriend's fiance on the morning he showed up at his North Park home in 2021 carrying a gun. Listen to what prosecutors had to say about that response and frankly it's insulting it's insulting the defense is going to come up here because the defendant is claiming that this was self-defense And so, so far, we've only heard from the prosecutors. It's going to turn to the defendants. The defendants will also make their closing arguments. From there, the case will go to the jury, and the jury will have to decide what's next for this case. I'm reporting outside of the county courthouse in downtown. I'm Virginia Urita for CBS 8.